I grew up on an agricultural farm in a very, very, very rural place that has still approximately a population under 800 people. Most of my childhood was spent on my horse in the landscape and uh, building forts and things like that. That space in between of, uh, of the imaginary landscape and the landscape that I truly inhabited and, in, and had my imagination grow is still that territory that I work in. The name of the commission is Nocturne of the Limax Maximus and the two pieces are Slug and the other is Egg. The conceptual process started about a year and a half ago but and you could say when it gets installed that's the end of that process, but that's not true because it will continue to grow and this interaction will develop over the course of the time that it is there. They will be the largest scale sculptural works that I have done and they include many different materials and disciplines, engineering, casting, CNC, fabrication, 3D rendering, physical model making, molding, the botanical horticultural aspect of growing the plants. My creative energy is, is in a lot of ways like a conductor. I have a lot of lust for materials and learning about them. These forms came into my mind which are very organic and they had a feeling something that had to do with sexuality actually I mean or, or pregnancy I made notes that said like honey breasts and my son instantly sent me this YouTube video that he had seen about the mating of leopard slugs and I couldn't believe it and these forms are completely related and now I see the sexuality part in this whole different way because I see them in my garden and I'm always like, you are going to eat my plants, <laughs> you know? So this was this way like, you are wonderful, you know? It was this switch from uh, one response to another. It always has intrigued me for decades, really, the origin of what a terrarium is in that it was the vehicle to transport tropical plants from South America to Europe. And that was the kind of the fetish of, you know, the Victorian age. So it was this little Wardian case that brought over tropical trees that could live for three months in a, in a sea vessel. At this scale, which is uh, maybe not as easy for people to understand as a garden, it's more understood as a seductive art object, and actually it's only very partially an object. It's mostly a, a, a verb. It's a, it's an, a very transforming, uh, hopefully transformative relationship. And that's really the essence of the sculpture. Most human beings have a biophilia. And I think seeing something alive and real and growing in a museum in this context will be very powerful. I have no doubt, actually.